welcome to Montana. My name is Philip. You know you get cold when you're up here playing on the mountain, but with Montana's food, it feels like heaven. Let's go! All right, so today we're gonna learn how to stay cozy and get fueled up for the mountains of Montana. And we're gonna start right now in the city of Butte. How you doing, Montana? Good to see you, brother. When it comes to Montana food, this is probably one of the most classic treats there is. How you doing? Hey, Phil, how you doing? I'm good. Uh, can I get one of these, how you say it? Pasty. 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 And then just kind of tuck it under there and give it a little. All right, so you just got to tuck the dough over the meatballs? Yes. OK, so shimmy, shimmy, tap, tap, tap. Yep. People are going to want their money back once they get that one. <laughs> no, that's going to be the best. Wow. I'll take one of those. That's the drizzle I'm looking for. Look at that steam. Behold, the almighty pack. We're all fueled up. Thank you guys. What if we can it out? Cobble for a week. It's all about mountain culture. First time for everything, I am ready like spaghetti. Never snowmobile. I'm excited for you. All right, so now for some classic Montana apres ski. See, apres ski is after you hit the slopes with your friends, and then you come back down for some food and drinks. Fire in the hole! Ooh. Oh, that's some good apres ski. We are the oldest family-run Chinese restaurant in America. Oldest Chinese restaurant? Well over 100 years old. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Classic Montana winter day always ends with a great dinner. It doesn't matter if it's Chinese food or steakhouse. Delicious, man. I ain't never tasted steak this good. Montana meat is delicious. What matters here in Montana is that you fuel up well for the mountains. Before, during, and after, go big and enjoy. Over the hills and everywhere I go, tell it on.